All right. What's up, YouTube? I just uh, had uh, surgery to fix the deviated septum. So that's what that gauze is there for. I am on my way to the pharmacy to pick up pain medicine and antibiotics. And I am stoned off my ass on hydromorphine that they gave me after the surgery. They said it's 50 times stronger than morphine. I've looked it up. I think that's an exaggeration, but it is substantially stronger than morphine. And I am fucked up. It is no wonder why you hear stories of like famous people who uh, get off their drugs, go go to a, get a, some kind of surgery or dental thing, and they get a they get a pain med, an opiate, and they're right back in it. Because I feel fucked up, and it's been a little while since the uh, since the surgery. I actually wanted to do this video a little sooner than I did today, but I literally was so fucked up that I sat in a couch, my couch and I could not even get up. <laughs> literally for, for a pretty long time. So that gives you some idea of uh, what this feels like. But it's a beautiful day in LA. We're at Cheviot Hills, Century City. This is the area of LA where all the big talent agencies are for all the movie stars. Think of your favorite movie star. Their talent agent is about a quarter mile from here. Those buildings are part talent agencies, part Fox Movie Studios. We're gonna be passing by Fox Movie Studios. One of the five big movie studios in Los Angeles. The others being Disney, Warner Brothers, Universal, Sony, and Paramount, make that six. And Fox now is owned by Disney. Well, Fox Movie Studios is owned by Disney. So really it's kind of like Disney Studios 2. But it still says, it's still called Fox Studios. Anyway, just a gorgeous day. Gorgeous day in LA. This is what we pay absurd amounts of money for it's it's pretty depressing actually when there's several days not like this because literally it is like you are losing money on those days uh so this is chevy hills like i said century city this is a pretty cool park golf golf course in chevy uh, hills see the thing about la People who don't live here, who haven't visited LA, you, you say LA, they think Hollywood. I mean, that's what I thought too before I, I moved here and visited here. You think of Hollywood, you think the the, 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 the theater where all those handprints are in the cement. You think the uh, sidewalk where all the stars are, which obviously is not this sidewalk. We got real normal sidewalks too in this city. LA is the biggest land-wise city in the United States. The, most population is New York City, of course. But LA is a huge sprawl in the middle of the desert, and there is beauty to that. There is beauty. It's you could even say it's like 10 cities in one. And the geography of LA, if you get a map, it's pretty weird. It, the, the shape of the city itself is weird because it's just an odd shape, and there's lots of like cities in cities. Like for example, the Vatican in Rome is a country in Rome, or excuse me, in Italy. 
So it's a little like that. You've heard, obviously, I'm sure you've heard of Beverly Hills. Beverly Hills is an example of this. Beverly Hills is a city within Los Angeles. West Hollywood is another one. It's, it's a city within Los Angeles, not part of Los Angeles, technically. Santa Monica is another one, a city within Los Angeles, but its own city, its own zip code, its own police, fire, etc. And the shape of it is of this city is weird. LA is also odd because when it comes to like, you know, the the bad areas, the good areas, it's weird. You could be on one street, million dollar homes, left and right, go two or three blocks over and you're in in the I don't use, I don't like this word, but you know, quote unquote, you know, the poor area, the hood, the ghetto. I don't like that word ghetto, but you get what I mean. It's, it's right, uh, literally two blocks over, it's entirely different. <clears throat> but anyway, just days like today, I mean, if you're a spiritual person, you know, it really is an example of, of, uh, yeah, it makes you feel very in touch with inner spirit, God, higher power, something like that. It's just, to me, when I look at the sky on a day like today, it's just, it's so perfect. You know, it, it, it's so perfect. It's so beautiful. How could it not be, you know, created by something like God? It's just, it's, it's, it's beautiful. And you, you can feel that energy inside of you too. But yeah, uh, just I don't, you probably can't tell that I feel fucked up on the inside. I don't know. I, I mean, I, I'm a very, I don't know. I guess I have a very, people say that I have a good voice, you know, so I appreciate that. But I, I don't think it sounds like I'm high, you know. Like... You probably would literally just like have to see me uh, like sitting down on my couch, like I said earlier I was doing. Then you would see, okay, this person's clearly, clearly a little, a little not right in the head. But and then this surgery that I got this morning, surgery is always weird. It's a weird one, right? I mean, I think it's probably the closest thing to death one can experience it's really scary to put it like that but I'm being honest you know I mean anyone who's ever had general anesthesia you know you get in the room that you lie down the doctor says okay count backwards from 10 by the time you get to 8 you're asleep and then a split second later in your mind it feels like you're waking up and the surgery's over it's very odd very 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 odd uh, experience. I guess you could now, then you could argue what sleep isn't sleep like that, but it's, it's different from sleep. It just is like, you know, it, I can't really describe how, but it's, it's different. It's very different from sleep. It's also the, because you, it, it's the, the fact that somebody has induced this to you, has caused this to happen to you. When you go to sleep, someone doesn't like touch your head and boom, you fall asleep. You do it on your own. It's just very odd, and probably if you have not experienced general anesthesia, which good for you, you know, you don't want surgery if you can avoid it. It's pretty hard to describe, to describe the sensation of it. It's a cool charger, challenger, excuse me, <laughs> charger. And, uh, Yeah, <laughs> that guy, there was a guy in that car. I don't know if you saw, there was a guy in that car. I didn't see him. He just gave me the dirtiest look ever. <laughs> so, <clears throat> I got a lot of stuff happening in my, in my life now. I'm not gonna go on for a very long time. I don't want this to be a half hour video, but. I was 
going to go to India. I actually bought a plane ticket to India. Do some backpacking. Do some great, you know, put out some great content, hopefully. But of course, recently, the COVID, it, it's so scary. And I'm so, you know, I did a video of this. I, I, my heart goes out to you if you're from India or that part of the world. It, it just looks, it looks awful. So I'm not going to go there anymore. Uh, but I'm considering, okay, do I go somewhere else? I know Greece is open. It would be really cool to backpack around Greece. But then it's like, how much traveling do you really want to do in a pandemic? Even though I am fully vaccinated. So I got to weigh the pros and cons. Traveling is so cheap now, though. Isn't traveling cheap right now? Pardon? Isn't traveling cheap? Like traveling, airplanes. Isn't traveling like airplanes? Isn't it cheap? Like airplane tickets are really cheap right now, right? Uh, they're starting to go back up again. They are. Go Take care. Yeah, see, he's right. They are starting to go back up again. Which is why I want to get a ticket now if I'm going to do it. Ticket to India was $370 <laughs> for a 20 hour flight across the whole world. So, you know, it's uh, it would suck to eat that money. And, but I really, I don't want to do that. I I don't want to do that, but I don't want to travel during, I got to figure it out. I think I am going to be going to Greece because it's open. Hang out in Greece for a few weeks. Maybe either India gets safer. Maybe some other European countries open up in the meantime. And then I, I travel a little bit more. With the vaccines, all people really have to worry about are these, you know, new strains of COVID, right? The new strains. And if they don't really know enough yet how badly the new strains can affect someone who is fully vaccinated. Actually, maybe they know. I just haven't seen this yet. I haven't done any research on this. If you know, you know, how, how do the... If there's been any studies or tests on, on, on the new strains, if the new strains infect people who are fully vaccinated, please put it in the comment section. I would like to know. Overall, I see a big light at the end of the tunnel here. And, um, and uh, I'm feeling a little more optimistic ever since I got my second shot. Anyway, I'm gonna end this. This is Fox Studios. I'm gonna end this video. Uh, I'm gonna walk into Fox Studios and see how far I can get. Again, in case you didn't hear me because the traffic's loud, I said I am going to walk inside Fox Studios and see how far I can get. Just like a real douchebag, you know? And uh, let's see what happens here. Yeah, and the camera will be turned around. I'm using the face camera, so I'm not gonna have any idea what I'm filming when I do this, because obviously there's no camera on the back of the phone. But sorry, sorry, and I'm also now running through traffic like an idiot. I'm already in douchebag mode. So let's see what happens here. Why not? I'm just praying they won't uh, rip my phone away if I get an accidental video of like a movie star and they're like, give us that footage now. That's worst case scenario. You like this 911 show? You like Smackdown? Wreck everyone, Smackdown. Of course, me filming like this too, it's even more obvious, more whatever. And there's a guard right here. I, there is a less than 1% chance I'm gonna get more than one foot in here because of this guard. How are you doing today, sir? I'm sorry, I'm gonna turn around and go out. Beautiful day. It is. 
See, the real question is, if I, if I don't have my phone up like a jackass, how far could I have got? A couple of days ago, I got a little farther in there. <laughs> it's like the... It's like the, uh, oh shit, <laughs> my thing fell down because I couldn't see. I looked even weirder. It's really the ultimate act of depravity and, and des desperation on my part. A, uh, you know, an actor in LA who is at the beginning stages of their career somewhat, really the, 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 really the, 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 the most sickly desperate thing I could possibly have done. Anyway, gonna end it on that note. Have a good one. Take care, stay safe, and have a great day.